Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. Do you guys ever wonder where in this universe you fit in? I mean, hey, what's up, guys? Like oh, I'm just having a little awful. existential crisis. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Ding. We are so happy to be back with you. It has been it has been quite some time, and uh, we are very excited and very nervous to come back. Um, we are going to start out a start off our shout outs tonight with dice daddy himself all right hey what's up guys welcome <laughs> back it's been a while um it's been a whole month been a while and <laughs> great to see everyone uh i want to shout out a few people uh mostly roll 20 for making this all happen uh they are a wonderful platform if you're looking to do what we do uh which is play rpgs with your friends from very long distances away and safely um other people I would like to shout out are Devin Knight, Gabriel Picard, uh, David Hemingway, uh, Mythic Portal Games, Portable Heroes, Kev's Lounge, uh, and Nikki Artsicle. We had a bunch of fun times last time we were together. Uh, not this group, but previous group and had uh, Nikki and we would love to have her back. So, And we will. Back to you, Pat. Thank you. Uh, I would next like to throw it to our man that mans the manning of social media. Mike explain. Thank you uh, for that lovely introduction, Patrick, as I'm sitting here finishing up our tweet to let you know that we're live right now. So make sure you're following us on Twitter at The Junk Drawer Show, following us on Instagram at The Junk Drawer Show, and following us on TikTok at The Junk Drawer Show. That's a new thing that we did. Uh, we recently posted a TikTok for our friends in Mainline Marketing, who I'm sure we're probably going to be shouting out a little bit later, some good folks there that we've been working with. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, also had Justin put together a TikTok to try and get you ready for what to, to recap you since we've been off for about a month. Um, and yeah, we're going to die, but no, we're not totally positive. Um, I'm not scared. Does anyone smell that pee? Um, <laughs> Ew, it's asparagus. <laughs> oh, who had that? Totally not me. Uh <laughs> Um, no, I'm just, this is nervous giggling uh, at this point. So, uh, I love you guys. I'm really happy that we're all back because I missed you guys and playing D&D &D and back to you, Pat. Bye. <laughs> if I peed my pants, could we pretend it was from the rain? It's not, sure, it's not raining. Hey, if peeing your <laughs> pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. Gross. Up next, we're going to talk to our art master himself, <laughs> Carlos. That's me. Hey, girl. Hi. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out to Krita. Krita is actually the we're not sponsored, but please sponsor us. Uh, so Krita is actually the program that I use for all of my digital art. Uh, thankfully, I was able to get my computer to working again, so you'll see a bunch of that coming soon. Um, you can check it out at Krita K R I T A dot org. It's actually a similar version of Photoshop, but it's downloadable and it's free. It works both for Mac and PC. So if you can't afford but Photoshop, but you still want to do the same shit, check it out. Credit.org. Pretty cool. Back to you, Pat. Awesome. I'm happy to have it thrown back to me to then throw it to Josh Delgado, our tech dude guy person. Hey, what's up? Uh, Carlos, how much are they paying you to pump them? None yet, but hopefully more soon. Wow. Doing it out of the kindness of your heart. What a great guy. For now. <laughs> For now. Fuck you later. Um, so... I'm just going to I'm going to shout out Justin first before pointing out that I have not a single time used uh, divine divine smite. divine smite. Thank you. Smite. Yeah, today's a day. But thank you. He gave me some dice. So I will do at least one smite tonight, even if it Hopefully. has to be on myself. And hold <laughs> me to that. If it's the end of the day, I'm going to or the end of the session. Loki's just going to punch himself in the face and divine smite it. So smart. Good look How would Loki die? Oh, he off himself. <laughs> yeah. He was like, well, this is an unwinnable situation. <laughs> 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 okay, well, that was like Drew earlier told me that apparently in the MCU, Loki has two modes, either die or steal the Tesseract. Because in <gasps> all movies, he either dies or steals the Tesseract. Correct. So maybe you steal the Tesseract. Who will I be around. tonight? I'm a man of many faces, if many means two. 
Uh, so not really a shout out, but a update. I finally got all the parts for, for my new PC and I will hopefully be building it this weekend. We'll see, I'm also getting my second dose. So I'm expecting to be dead all weekend, but that means in the coming weeks, months, we can expect some stream improvements, hopefully. And uh, yeah, maybe some like actual streaming content. Well, video game streaming rather. Uh, and lastly, as is tradition, let's all say the community mantra. Deep breath in. Three, two, and you know what? Do it. In, do it in an accent. Okay. Dibs on Scottish. Uh, you don't know. No dibs. You just do it. Oh. You know. That's how oh. you find your soulmate, dude. Can we do that yet? I'm trying to help you out, bro. All right. Three, <laughs> two, one. Fuck you, Donovan. You know, I wasn't going to do Scottish, and then you said Scottish, and it just <laughs> fucking came out. You <laughs> piece of shit. All right, back to you, well, Pat. I, if, if it's I did Scottish, Apache Native yeah. American. <laughs> Don't uh, even ask me what I did. I will. I'm going to break tradition tonight because I spent the last three weeks with my wife, so she gets no, she gets no shout out at all. Uh, oh, troubles at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if only. Um, I, d I also don't want to shout out my tablet that's reset four times while we've been doing this. Very concerned about that. Um, but I do want to shout out Mainline Marketing in Winter Park, Florida. Uh, they have so kindly uh, donated this Shure MV7 to me to be able to upgrade my sound. And uh, this is actually just a USB mic. So this is really good for D&D players and podcasters on the go if you guys are looking for that kind of content. Um, and it's really awesome. So it's like a step down from the SM7B. And it's awesome. I love it. We're going to be doing some more stuff with them moving forward. So keep an eye out on that. Uh, but I wanted to shout out Mainline Marketing. Thank you so much for this. And I also wanted to shout out uh, you guys. You guys have been, we had a meeting at the beginning of the, or the end of last month about kind of upping our game a little bit. And it's been really good so far. Uh, a lot of very fun things on the horizon for you guys. And, um, if you don't follow our, our YouTube page, we have some football content that's going up. There will be some other sports content going up soon, uh, some more pop culture stuff, some more podcasts, all that good stuff. So just check out uh, thejunkdoorshow.com, and that will take you to our link tree, which will bring you anywhere you want to go where we hold our content. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us. I feel like I'm wrapping up our campaign because I think we're all going to die, but I have no actual idea. Um, so, with all of that being said, Dice Daddy, whenever you're ready. Okay, I had to stretch. It's been, I don't want to pull anything. So, One week. last time we were all together, uh, <clears throat> Thok, Tibrin, and uh, Alder were all in the city of Falsera. Essentially, there was a big explosion. Uh, they were trying to get the local madman scientist, Dr. Ashford, uh, like the fourth, to build a rocket ship for them. But he said he needed material, which unfortunately he didn't have copious amounts of. So Alder, with his uh, pride, went back to his family's house and mansion where his father, uh, who, Aegis, who is the probably number one supplier of uh, a specific kind of metal that only occurs in that region. He, Alder also found out he had two younger brothers that seem to be twins. Uh, they seem to be, one seemed to be meek, one seemed to be nice. And uh, they were able to convince Aegis to give Alder the resources he so required. Thok, in the meanwhile, uh, got more information on the Grand Library from its former keeper, or maybe current keeper. We don't know. We're not there. Um, meanwhile, on the other side of the continent is Thor and Loki. The two coming off of their uh, very, very low points from the last time they were uh, <clears throat> together, trying to figure out exactly how they're going to get to the next step and the next moon, uh, to the next level, which is the moon. And uh, Loki dropped a bomb of a guy, uh, and his name was Dremel, which, as we all know, is Loki. Or is Loki Dremel or Dremel is Loki? Guess we'll find out. Where's uh, It's... <laughs> However, we ended it with Thor and Loki outside, a new kind of uh, really early in the morn, dark, almost that uh, twilight dusk, 
dusk is night, twilights. <clears throat> Regardless, it's dark out. Um, and very far off into the distance in the town square, amongst all of the rubble and the steam and the smoke, is a massive archaic gate. It almost looks like someone is going in and cutting it with some kind of archaic magic, cutting a portal open. And uh, we will we'll take it from there. We'll take it from uh, Thor and Loki. So Thor, Loki, you see very far away in the distance, I would say maybe like a good, where would Town Square be? Like four football fields? No, that's not enough. <laughs> What's that in alligators? <laughs> What's that in out? Al- just a lot of alligators. What's that in French bulldogs? Out of curiosity, <laughs> like a bunch. Uh, <laughs> you, you, both of you have a good distinction of where town the town square is. You can hear the crackling of the archaic energy. You can see the glow coming up from the rubble and of the ashes. What do you guys do? Uh, I would look at Loki and uh, immediately go. <sighs> Uh, there's someone in town I need to go rescue uh, and bring them back here. Call Alder and, and Thok and let them know that this is going on. And then I'll swing the hammer and go towards Slim, who uh, may be awake or crafting a helmet for me. Um, but I would go and try and get him the hell out of where he is currently. Okay. So, Loki, you see Thor and he goes... Doo, 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 doo spins the hammer and you just see him shoot up and then careen and you're alone with your thoughts um when that happens um i would say damn he didn't even notice and the camera pans out and you see that uh loki casts minor illusion to make it look like he peed his pants (laughs) he's like well that was a wasted bit and then kind of does sad um sad uh, sad uh, arrested development walk toward George the castle Michael. yeah george michael da, 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 da. okay so you're begrudgingly while a giant <laughs> portal's opening and you're like got a I, <laughs> I think we're back i just had, I had to teach somebody what ren and stimpy was the other day so we're back <clears throat> don't know ren and that, stimpy is. Uh, figure it out google it <laughs> google it call google they'll have the answer <laughs> yeah 1-800 google <laughs> Ren and Stimpy. Okay, uh, where were we, Justin? Before we cut out, uh, you were—I don't know, but I think you were jamming out of uh, frame there, bub. Yeah, oh yeah, you, you were figuring idea. out yeah. if uh, it was worth it for you to go back to. Not, back not to... quite. Not quite. Okay, so what I did okay. was I did the bit. I pretend to pee my pants, walked out of frame, <laughs> and then uh, I start running, and I cast Fine Steed with okay uh so that i can go even faster okay and so you start looking at and the spectral spirit of your wolf uh fenrir kind of slips under you as you feel your your legs eventually give way as he kind of starts galloping that's my call by the way how uh (laughs) How very Xena warrior princess of you. Ah, uh, it's super neat. Uh, so, okay. So you are currently booking it to the, uh, to the stronghold. Thor, uh, you have an idea of where Slim is. Uh, not entirely in the town square. He's more in the market district. So you're able to careen. But as you look you see this massive orange gate opening of this archaic energy and off in the distance, you see smaller gates begin to open. Uh, and not having heard Loki come across on the, the necklace yet, I'm going to <clears throat> sigh deeply to myself and be like, uh, hi guys. Um, the incursion is happening now. Um, there are giants and arcane gates in Valoria appearing right now so if you guys could get back to valoria as soon as possible it would be appreciated because someone cut away from me (laughs) i was going to and justin said josh you want to do something nah fuck that let's go back to pat uh so i do that (laughs) and uh let them know um all hands on dick if anyone if you can get any other 
individuals. Uh, there are a lot of arcane gates opening, so this is going to be hard. And I just okay. keep flying. So as you're you're flying, Loki, you hear his voice kind of come up. And I would you like to retort? Yes. Also, I didn't cast Fine Steed. I read it wrong. It's a 10 minute cast and then it's instantaneous and it lasts forever. I thought it was the other way around. Instant cast. Okay. So I'm just booking it. So, yeah, you're just jamming. So I hear that and then I touch him like, I was going to do it. I was almost there, and I got confused. Okay, yes, he's right. Um, get here quickly, please. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so we will go to Falsera. Uh, Falsera is very early. It's very early in the morning. Uh, birds are barely chirping. As Alder, you've been meditating. You have Aya with you at the end of the bedpost, and everything is very calm. You hear, like, the clocks ticking in your mansion, and you hear the occasional creak of the foundation, things that are familiar and kind of warm sounds to you. And then it's immediately just broken up by this harsh uh, wind and Thor's voice coming out, but you do receive the message of, the incursion is happening now. Gates are opening. Get as many people as you can. So you mentioned that it's in the morning now. Uh, does that mean we gain the benefits of a long rest? I will say that uh, you and I will be very genuine. Thok, did you sleep a lot that evening? The room is very big, by the way. Uh, probably not. Okay. Oh, fuck you. To be honest. <laughs> Okay. I fucking. I'll, I'll say because you have sex energy, you don't have exhaustion. Do I get but... a short rest? <laughs> At least. Maybe, like if you have that post nut clarity, I guess I'll give you a short <laughs> rest. The, that little squee energy. You guys are like holding each other in each other's arms. Go ahead and take the benefits of a short rest because I'm going to be nice. Um, but I mean, it's not like I'm going eight hours straight. I mean, not that I can't, but anyways. Like... I mean, I feel like Thought could. Uh, he's got that endurance. He has a high Kenyan constitution. Runners. Um, so eventually as you guys are kind of like laying and Tiburon is very softly sleeping, snoring on your, uh, on your chest, you immediately just get more of this wind. And then eventually it just hears, you hear Loki going, I was, and then, um, I'm immediately going to bolt out of, my meditation and the first thing that I'm going to do is grab pen and paper and I'm going to um, start writing quickly um, a letter to Ashford um, okay. and I'm just going to be like um, <clears throat> just uh, just Dr. Ashford um, incursion has already started and Valoria is uh, weakening at the moment we have to go metal is on its way please get to work I promise we will be back soon, but you should get the supplies that you need and then some. Alder. And I'm going to attach that to Aya's foot, and I'm going to be like, just go up to her and be like, go where we are going, you, you likely would not make it back. You would be in trouble. I need you to stay here. But before that, I need you to go bring this to Ashford's residence. Can you do that for me? And you see your she puts out her leg for you to roll the uh, the paper around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss you, but I promise I'll be back. And then I'm just going to give Aya a little kiss on the head. And I guess I have to go wake up Thok. Um, I don't know what else to do. I don't know who we could possibly bring. There's no way that my new brothers are strong enough. Mom probably can't come. That would be a bad idea. Why would mom come? Who brings their mom to a battle? Fuck. As you're like getting everything in, Thok, you're kind of like, your eyes are open. You're looking over at Tibber and you're like, do I wake Tibber up? What do I do with this? And you just see Manu's head just go through the wall and he looks at you like, I get it. I okay, okay. And I'm like, and get up. Tippin's like, what? The incursion's happening now. We gotta get ready. What now? Yes, it's not like I decided over the timing of it. 
as you're putting on pants, you see Tiburon and he just slowly puts the sheet over his head and he's like, I fucking hate these guys. <laughs> God, I know. But guess what? You get to kill them if uh, you run into them. And he okay, takes off the sheet. He's like, yeah, that makes things better. Yeah. Come on. And I throw his pants at his face. And pff, gets hit. Delayed reaction because he's half awake. So it doesn't take too long for you guys to get dressed as the three of you, four of you, reconvene. And, yes, Loki. As, as that's all happening, because they haven't sent a response yet, they're going to hear, <gasps> did you guys hear us? <gasps> as he's just booking it. And then I'll just, yeah, getting prepped. We'll be there, be there as soon as possible. <sighs> Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. We have to evacuate. Yeah, you guys also have to let us know what the fuck's actually going on. But we're on the way. And Loki's just not going to respond. <laughs> no, that's fair. You shouldn't. You're busy. <laughs> Did you guys hear us? Don't waste, don't waste the breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay um so so you guys are putting on pants uh we'll go to thor uh as you do see the market district there are different arcs that are beginning to open it's a little bit slow so it does seem like you have some time but not a lot of it as you kind of superhero land and you hear the clanking of metal and then eventually you hear the uh the bubbling of uh hot iron into oil and uh when i come down i'll land and i'll kind of like skid across uh, i would assume it's like debris it's like rock and dirt and all that yeah slim we uh we have a problem and you need to get the fuck out of here and he goes well wait one moment one moment and you see him and he takes out uh, the he has these tongs that uh, were dipped and quenched in this oil as he pulls out this uh, metal looking helm and he puts it on the table uh, and then he dips it into water lets it cool and you just hear this and what looks like a grimy looking helmet as the oil kind of trenches away is this very shiny metallic helm that is very tight to the head has wings that jut out and uh he kind of looks at you and he goes well it took some time i had to find a few pumpkins to, to like just figure out this um but uh oh look the ears fold and you see him and he puts the wings down puts the wings up he's like i feel like you could be more aerodynamic up. Right, and I'll Down. take it and just throw it on my head, grab him by the collar, and throw the hammer and fly as fast as I can back to. Uh, He's like, the wait, my board is still on. <laughs> I don't have insurance, Dick. I gave him a thousand gold. He'll be fine. Yeah. And he'll get insurance money. Maybe he does have it. Maybe he's a, <laughs> Maybe he's a liar. <laughs> is there a Jake from State Farm agent in town? Well, there should be. Yeah, ye old State Farm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, yeah, you're kind of booking and the the gates are starting to open more and more. And you hear the Royal Guard like you see different villagers kind of come out, people who have survived the initial incursion. And you hear like gasps and murmurs. And as I'm as flying, you're I'm going to be screaming for everyone to get to, um, I guess, the, the castle, the whatever the central hub would be called. Um for protection or to the boats okay if they're close go to the boat if not come to the castle and i'm just going to be screaming that as i kind of point like i'll grab slim's face and turn it so he can see the portals and like what's kind of coming and i'll be like this is why we need to go yeah no let's get the fuck out of here so um yeah, I'm going to just be warning anyone that I can see to either get to the boat or to the castle, to Anya's okay. castle. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have you roll. Uh, I want you to roll a strength check to make sure you can still hold Slim. He's not very heavy, but between winds and, you know, inertia, we want to make sure you're still holding on to him. Uh, um, natural 20 for okay. 25. You got him in there. He's hooked in there. And... Um, you're you're able to kind of rally people and you hear there is mass panic uh but 
people are are flooding they're moving you do see that there is movement going um just a little hard to see from the height you're in um while you are making your way to the keep loki you finally make it to the door and you kind of go in (laughs) and then you go through the the fireplace and really early in the morning you hear uh clattering in the kitchen from abigail you would assume as she's been the one to make you guys meals as you're like (gasps) i would have been um once i got through the gate i would have been just yelling they're here they're here uh trying to get people to just try to find out where people are and um just alert as many people as i can okay as as you do that abigail kind of comes up and she's just like she looks at you and she just starts banging on all of the uh, the bedrooms. And she's like, all right, it's time. Get up. And uh, it takes a few moments. But eventually outside in the main dining room, you have uh, Captain Jessica Creed. You have Valdana. You have uh, I would say Fira is there as he does have a room there. So he's in his armor and he's putting it on abigail is there and uh she goes i'm gonna try to see where the the queen's at just um please just try to figure out what we're gonna do uh as she kind of like nervously laughs and leaves um as she does that i look over to uh captain creed and i say jessica creed how can you how many people can you get away Oh God. Um, okay. Um, I mean, the, the ship is fairly large. Um, it's, and obviously you've been on it. It's the size of a cruise ship. Like it's very, very big. Uh, it's a pleasure ship. So she's like, I can get a lot of people on. It's just a case of getting them on and getting them on efficiently. There's no way we can fight this with all these people here. We have to prioritize getting the citizens out. If you can, if you can get a large caravan to go, I can do some distracting. And as she kind of looks at you and speaks, uh, I will say I forgot about Sue. Sue is also there, and she kind of, Captain Creed makes eye contact with Sue, and Sue goes, "I can get the horizon ready." Thank you. As the two start going out, <clears throat> and is it, yeah, is it is it fair to assume that I would know what Thor? told the people to do in that he told them to go to the HQ and or get to the boat because we're brothers. You would assume that it would most likely be to the effect of get the fuck out of the ha- the town. <laughs> so you could at least assume that. But what get I, out of the fuck. The part that I just would I would I know that he's sending people to the center of the city as well. I just based on how I know so. him. Only because you guys were I mean go ahead and roll an intelligence check. Who three? No, six. Um, Still not great. Six. So I mean it's hard to determine. I wouldn't say you would know that he would tell them to go into the strongholds. Uh you already discussed prior that during the initial incursion was getting people on the boat. So you would at least know that he most likely told them to get on the boat. Okay. Then to whoever's around us, I would tell every leader to get their people to get as many people to the boats as possible and okay. i will do the same on we anya's not there right she's not there yet no not okay. yet no so then once i told everyone that i would then book off and look for queen anya okay uh and before you leave uh jessica kind of hugs you kisses you on the cheek and she goes don't die again i won't if you won't yeah, do my best, champ. And I and I kiss her on the forehead, and then I just like do a little lick, lip, lip, right on the forehead. Oh, <laughs> and she just chuckles, and she kind of leaves. And Valdana is uh, waiting into the waiting in the dining room for for you as you go off to go get uh, Anya. While you do that, Thok, Alder, what are we doing? <clears throat> At this point, I'm I'm. I'm dressed. I'm ready. I have everything to go. I has been sent off before um, I- I'm going and banging on Fox door. I open the, the door as I'm like pulling on a boot and I'm like, okay, I'm good. Are you good? 
What about the other boot? Come on. Fuck. <laughs> like, I pull it on. Okay. Okay. Uh, miss, uh, I you I finish ready. getting Tibburn ready. I'm. I, I need. I need to go say bye to my my m- mother and father. They did a lot for us. I need to at least say goodbyes rather than just running away. Where do you want um, us to meet you? Meet me in the garden. I'll be there in two minutes. L- right. Less than that. Less than that. Hi. Mono double thumbs ups. As you kind of urgently but quietly, uh, your parents' quarters are on the other side of the the building. So it takes you a little bit, but um, from what you remembered, it is their bedroom, quote unquote, is a massive just wing of the mansion. Uh, You do know where the sleeping quarters is. So it takes a little bit to go through like one passageway that you're trying not to make like loud. You go through another one and eventually you get to the sleeping quarters and the uh, it's these very beautifully just hand carved uh, doors that are inlaid with silver. As you kind of just put one hand and you kind of creak, as you kind of see this very, um, I would say, almost like a canopy of just silks and and uh, almost looks like they there's like something that shines like archaically in the silks. No, just um, try and approach. Uh quickly but at the same time uh quietly and just to see if my parents are both in there and awake uh you do see that your father is i mean your father and your mother are both sleeping they're both facing away from each other though uh and the bed is fairly long and they're both are large and they're both on each corner and there's just this big purchase in the middle gotcha um and in in that case i'm just going to approach from the end of the bed and see if I could reach and grab both of them by the leg to try and wake them. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to do it gently. So that way it's not uh, incredibly aggressive, not too startling, but startling enough. And, uh, your father wakes up sharply, uh, curses and Elvish as he looks up, he normal people, when they wake up and like look groggy, like they look groggy, he wakes up like he's just been up. He goes, son. Uh, I hate to wake both of you, but uh, unfortunately I have to go. It seems as though we just got a message. Valoria is is under siege. It looks like whatever is is coming is is here and and we have to go. Um, I just I I wanted to thank you both so much for uh, welcoming us in on such short notice. and, And I really can't thank you enough for the, for the help to to get us through this um I, I don't know what's coming for me but whatever we're going to sounds terrifying so um i know it's been a while and we don't really share affections but just thank you and if i don't you know if this doesn't go well uh i love you dad thank you Nice. And I, I just give him give him a hug and an embrace, and even though I know he doesn't want that, he slowly, you know, reciprocates, and your mother immediately just wraps you into uh, her arms, and she just, you know, tells you to be safe, and um, as safe as you can be. Come back. There's only so much safe that I could do when I'm dealing with fire giants. Okay, love you. <laughs> and, she goes, what? Uh, Fire giants? And you're like, bye, and, mom, love you. <laughs> and uh, tell, uh, as I'm running away, I'm like, if I don't see them, tell tell Dro and Luz they have uh, a, a lot to learn. And I, I can't wait to teach them new stuff and learn stuff together. And I, I'm just kind of shouting as I'm running, but I got to go. I'm in the, on my way to the garden. Bye. Ah, it's so weird. Um, okay. And as you're kind of going to the garden, we will go back to uh, Thor. Thor, you eventually make your way to the stronghold. You do see that there are people that are kind of like almost, some are following you almost like you're a beacon. Other are going towards the the water and the, uh, the oceans. And <clears throat> eventually you do start seeing people coming out of the, the stronghold. You see Jessica, you see uh, Sue, and particularly you see uh, Fira. So uh, if I remember correctly. As they're all three of them are kind of divert if i remember correctly there's like a, a dome 
that is is kind of protecting the stronghold. Uh, is there anything I need to do in order to get these people to get inside of the dome? Because it's keeping out certain creatures. I didn't know mm -hmm. if there's anything I need to, like, do. Go ahead and roll an arcana check. Oh, no, this is not going to be good. Uh, 14. 14. Um, you're not entirely sure how the magic in this works. Uh, it could be something that kind of arises. You're going to find out most likely with uh, with your buddy there. Okay. Well, then I'm going to fly right to it and see if I can get him to come in the dome. He's able but to. But I'm going to try and go like. Okay, I was gonna say I want to go in low so that if if he were <laughs> to, if he well if he would have like come out of my hand that he would like not take fall damage and like break his legs. So, gotcha. um, well, okay, Jeff um, put him down. Yeah, I'm gonna look at Cree and Sue. Um, there's people heading toward the boats. Uh, I had some people come here because I figured the dome would provide at least a little bit of protection um, and there might be somewhere that they can hide. But do you guys know how you're going to get to the boats quickly? Any ideas? Um, and Creed just kind of looks at you and Sue says, yeah, I was going to run. <clears throat> she kind of smirks. Cool, 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 cool. Um, great. I'm going to hand... Oh, shit. I'm going to hand uh, Sue uh, my mace of smiting. And I'm okay. just going to be like, if anything gets in your way, use this. And she nods. She goes, I'll knock it down. And uh, I'm going to – I'm going to pull out um, my raven, okay. uh, my wondrous uh, power silvered raven, um, and I'm going to um, call him to life and essentially use him as a beacon. Uh, I'm going to throw him in the sky and just tell him – let everyone know to get to the boats as quickly as possible and just let him essentially do a, like a, a, a circle around the city. Okay. And uh, you see, I believe it's not Paul. It was George. Ah, uh, yeah, he was George. 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 So George, you see, goes off into the Oh, no, he's Ringo. And Sorry, he's Ringo. He's Ringo? He's Ringo. Okay. Goes into the sky and he starts careening and arcing, and uh, you hear your voice kind of coming out of uh, him to let others to know to go to the the boats. Um, while you do that, eventually you do get to the uh, the stronghold. You go into the fire, and Valdana is <clears throat> waiting there, and Loki, you are currently uh, walking to where Anya is. <clears throat> okay. Um... Is anyone around me then? I would say Thor is coming in. So, as just as you're beginning to make your way to Anya, Thor comes in to oh. the uh, into frame. Okay, then I'll, I'll turn and say, "Hey, Thor, wh what are you doing back here? What do you mean? We need to get people away from the city. Right, there's people coming here because the dome provides protection. Oh shit! And I'm sending other people to the boat. I just let Ringo go, and he's essentially being a speakerphone to let everyone know to get to the boats. Okay, well, I sent everyone away because I thought everyone was going to the boats. Um, I mean, them being split is fine. We just need to get eyes on us. Okay. Uh, can we open up... Valdana's there, close to me? Yeah, Valdana's there. I don't, well, I don't know if she would know. Valdana, do you know how... Can we open up the top of this this dome the do you mean the magic spell yeah just the if top. we can open it yeah and that's when i said punchline sorry guys this uh twitch doesn't like us tonight so it's yeah sorry about that 
What are you going to do? So, Computer upgrades are on the way. <laughs> yeah, they're coming real soon. So hopefully uh, we caught up. Last part was Thor flew us up into the air and I was trying to get my wither Ned to find us. So last thing that anyone else saw was the, the dome opening. So essentially Lysander was able to open Open up the dome of the the spell there. Uh, Thor gave the All Father's blessing to everyone, and yes, now you are in each other's embrace, and you're screaming for Ned. And, and my animal handling was a seventeen. Seventeen. So you're kind of like waiting, and you just see your like mirror image like this, or your minor illusion kind of like looking, and you just see Ned like careen down, down, and. Go through, go through the illusion because it thinks it was going to scoop you up. Oh, look, it's Ned. It's Ned. As you see Ned go down and then very confused as there's no purchase there. And eventually... Wait, why, why is he going because down? Because you were... Because wasn't it the, the illusion was calling for him and you're holding Thor? No, yeah. he used the illusion to project his voice. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's wherever voice. I am. That's where the sound's coming from copy so then yeah ned nose dives down and uh headbutts the floor before getting up and looking at you and i give thor a look and uh i just look up hop on ned well i look at ned and i ask his, for his permission actually consent is always yeah, like ned can i can i ride you we've got to save the town to another animal handling check Ooh, eight. Eight. So you kind of put your hand up and kind of n tries to nip at you. I'm like, going hey. to look at Ned and just be like, please, this is... And I'll kind of gesture over to everything that's happening. And I'll be like, this is kind of important. Okay, go ahead and also roll an anime handling <laughs> check. Perfect. As both of you are trying to talk to the whiffer. 17. And Loki kind of puts his his hand on the back of Ned's head and Ned is not breaking eye contact with you, Thor. As eventually Loki kind of like just whoop, goes over. You put one leg over and you're on the back of Ned because uh, Ned does have a saddle from when you knocked the previous rider off of him. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it is a comfortable uh, seat. Dope. Perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to take off towards like i said that area i'm looking to see where there's a large conglomeration of people um and where the closest ring to that is so that there's the least amount of casualties possible um even though i don't we haven't seen anyone come out of any portal yet right not yet however as you go up and you start to look for the entryways you do see uh the massive gate open and you see uh Coming out, uh, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Both of us? Uh, sure. Rolling well tonight. 18 so far. Okay. Perception uh, 11. Okay, 11. You do see uh, a massive, um, almost looks like a snake coming out, but it has arms at the top. Um, I'm going to need you both to roll nature checks to see if you know what the hell it is. Or better yet, sorry, history checks. Oh, that's much better for me. It is better. Uh, 19. 23. Shit. Go school. What you got? 23. Uh, 19. 23 and 19. Okay, so both of you are... Uh, Justin, you're Fairly familiar out. Muspelheim. Wait, say, the... say that again. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold right. on. Yeah, we lost you. Back it up. Yeah, you, you're super choppy tonight. I don't know why. Okay, so most of you, uh, if not both, both of you, are familiar with Muspelheim, which is where the land giants or the fire giants come out from. Right. You do know that there is a massive sea of ash uh, that kind of runs through this, and you know through the sea of ash. There are these large atrocities that are known as salamanders. They sound cute, but they're not cute. They are uh, entirely intelligent. They, they can usually speak. They are very proud warriors. Um, there has been 
in the past conflicts between uh, fire giants and salamanders for territory of the of Muspelheim. However, fire giants have prevailed from that from Surtur. But uh, you do see this massive snake. Uh, they are very large in nature, and it has a giant spear that it kind of come is coming out with. Uh, and there are people that. Have to get to the boats or to get to you as you just start seeing the spear kind of go up and then swipe down. Okay, so that's where uh, that's where I would be headed. And then I'm going to push the necklace again and say, hey, I would really hate to uh, be a bother, but this is really serious and you guys need to fucking get here now. And then I'm going to let go of the necklace. Okay. Yeah, what well, he um, said. As you vroom. And Loki, what are you doing? I say, yeah, what he said. And <laughs> then uh, now that I've diverted from Thor and I'm on the Wyvern, what is your flight speed, Thor? Uh, 60 feet okay. per, like, movement. I Can I double fly? Is that a thing? Or no? Dash? I don't know how that no. works. I didn't think so. So 60 feet. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm not too much slower. So wherever he goes, I I want to find, like, the triangular position of where the boats are the uh stronghold and where most of the portals are and okay. fly toward there so that i'm kind of in a good place to make a distraction okay does that make uh, sense honest it does honestly i would say um it would be the town square honestly because it's dab in the middle of everything but that would that would block people from getting from where they are to the boats right so i want to be outside of the triangle the triangle okay here, outside right? of the triangle sorry um okay so that would be more southern okay so you would be more on the outskirts of everything but yeah you would be able to triangulate okay so i'd like to do that and what do i know more about these salamanders like what do they hate what what drives them aside from worry uh Go ahead and do another history check for me as you kind of land uh, and you're trying to figure out what's going on or you're circling maybe. Uh, that was kinked. Oh, uh, 10. Hold on. No worries. So while that is going on and he's okay, remembering. Yeah, 10. Sorry. Um, so you do know that, I mean... They are incredibly, uh, when you get too close to them, they uh, can burn you. They're very scalding hot to the touch. Uh, any kind of weapon that they hold uh, usually is different kind of irons or irons that are found in Mesfelheim uh, are um, heated because of their their uh, nature. And you do know that they are, uh, they're kind of pyros. You know that they enjoy lighting things on fire. Okay. Uh, how do they feel about ice giants? And is there an equivalent to a salamander from Jotunheim? So that'll be another history check for me. Okay. Natural 20. So 24. Okay. So you do know that there are in Jotunheim, there are frost salamanders. Uh, they're a little bit intense than a regular salamander. Um, Anything that's cold is going to rub these things the wrong way. Uh, they do, with your natural 20, you know they are vulnerable to cold. Okay, so the salamanders, the fire salamanders hate the ice salamanders. Is that what you yeah. said? Okay. I mean, anything that's... That's cold. That's cold. Perfect. Okay, then when I get to the position um, just outside of the path between the stronghold and the boats, I'm going to cast major image um which allows me to make something no larger than a 20 foot cube um okay. i'm gonna pump a sal uh, an ice salamander in there so with this it unless they physically interact with it they can't tell that it's fake okay so unless they if they find out it's okay um so you begin to start to start pumping out a ice salamander as you do see that there are other kind of gates slowly starting to open and you see these things slither out. Um, 
while that is happening, and while Thor, I'll say by the time uh, we get to Alder and Thok, you have just landed in front of the uh, Salamander. Uh, I don't want to land in front of him. I want to. I want to okay. do use my ability uh, given to me by Mjolnir, and it's called Thunder Slam. So essentially, I kind of come down like a cannonball and slam into him. It's it's an attack, so I have to roll for it. But um, oh no, I'm sorry. It's a it's a an area effect. Uh, it's within a ten foot radius. So I would try to hit where I'm not going to hit any civilians, but just him. And he has mm-hmm. to make a deck save of eighteen. On a failed save, he takes 4d8 thunder damage, and he's knocked prone. Uh, okay. And on a save, he just takes half of that. Half. And then I'm going to try and hit him. Uh, so, like, if he's long enough oh, in that 10-foot radius, so then he takes mm. an additional d10 uh, bludgeoning damage if he okay. fails the save. Let me see. Okay. He does fail the save. So go ahead and roll your damage for it. Uh, seven... Seven, three, seventeen, uh, four is twenty-one plus a d ten plus four is twenty-five, and he is prone. Okay. Uh, so and how much I, is it all together? I'm sorry. Uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five, 25. points of uh, damp. There's twenty-one thunder and uh, four bludgeoning, and that would be my action. And my movement. Do I do you get another attack? Um, let me just bring you. Let's bring you guys over. Hold on. Ooh, battle map a clock. Oh, battle map. Holy fuck! <clears throat> oh, that is shit. bigger than I thought it would be. I also agree with that statement. <laughs> Not as big as a fire giant, though. Great. Much better. So big. So yeah. you. Do, <laughs> Uh, and I'll say because this was a more surprising round, uh, yeah, you can you could do your second attack. Sweet. And he's prone now, so he would be at a, would this next attack be at advantage? Yes. Okay. Cool. 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 So that is a natural eighteen, and I didn't I didn't create so, uh, so that's a twenty eight no. to hit. Okay, yeah, 28 will hit. So that is eight points of bludgeoning, and then I get a d4, which I didn't have prepared because I haven't used Mjolnir yet as a weapon because I'm a big dumb boy. There it is. Uh, What did I say? Eight bludgeoning. Three lightning. Mm-hmm. So 11 points total. Okay. So you do an additional 11. Go ahead and roll initiative. Uh, modded 20. Okay, modded 20. Uh, what is your dex? Uh, 16 or plus 3. Okay. So you will go first... Um, okay. You have another opportunity to, to attack him. Oh, sweet. Uh, so he's still prone. So I'm going to take two swings with the hammer. That's probably not going to do it, but I'll roll again. Oh no. Uh, 14 for the first swing. Uh, 14 will not hit. That's what I thought. So I'm going to take another swing. Uh, that's going to definitely hit, but let's crit here. We didn't, uh, 26 total. On the second 26 strike. will hit. Yeah. So I'm um, going to re-roll that because I can re-roll twos and ones. Not much better. Um, 10. Uh, 12 extra points of damage. Okay. And while you do that and you get close to them, you take uh, eight points of fire damage. Awesome. Love that for me. Okay. Anything else that you'll be doing? Um, you can always bonus action cry. I will not bonus action cry. I will bonus action sob lightly. It's different. Okay. It's not the same. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's fucking manly. So he is going to use half of his movement speed to get up. Fair. And you, you have gotten, you've run into salamanders before. They don't speak like 
giant or like they speak a, a language all of their own. It's called Ignan. And you just hear this kind of like almost like in the barrels of a volcano that you would hear of bubbling and churning. Almost mixing that with the heat of its voice as it kind of slithers and then it is going to attack you. So first it's going to go with its spear. Cool. Cool. Love that. Love that for him. Uh, that is 23 to hit. That's going to hit. Okay. Nice to be back in the chair. Um, okay. So with the, the first hit, And I have to. So it is going to be 11 points of piercing damage. Uh, and it's going to be an extra four of fire damage. Cool, 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 cool. And then it is going to use its second attack with its tail. Okay, and that is going to be a natural 17, so uh, 24. That's going to hit. 24 will hit, and then that is going to be... Ooh, okay. So that is going to be 24 points of um, damage. 11 of that is going to be bludgeoning, and the rest will be fire. Cool, 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 cool. Love that for me. Okay. That was a big round. That was big. That was a big round. So as big. you do that, we will go to Thok and Alder. What are you guys doing? Uh, so I would say um, by the time we got that message from them, would we have already been in the garden? I would say that you, when you got the second message, you were just getting out of the, the mansion to the garden. Okay. Um, so literally just... Two seconds is all I'm, I'm just going to touch the necklace, say two seconds, and I'm just going to say, run. I, just follow me into the tree. Don't, don't think about it. And all right. Just, so the two uh, seconds, by the way, Thor, uh, is when you're getting smacked in the face with the tail. <laughs> awesome. Love that for me. And um, literally, as a second that we start running towards the tree... They're sprinting. I'm making sure that they're directly behind me so that they, we're not spread out too long so no one misses the effect. And I'm just going to, not even thinking, just transport via plants. And I'm just going to dive into it so that way I pop back out of the bushes in front of the, um, in, in, in the courtyard. And I basically just kind of do like a like a parkour flip and so that way I can hop right onto my feet and, and go. Can you do a check me. for me? He said, follow no, me, do so I do the same thing. <laughs> for the parkour. What's that, Thok? He said, follow me, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to dive towards the tree. All right, bub. Also do an acrobatic check. Cool, 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 Hardcore cool. parkour. Uh, acrobatics check. That's a 15 for me. 15? Okay. So you're able to land very comfortably. What did you get, Thok? Uh, 13. 13. I will say you, you, it's a little shaky on the landing, but you stick it, bub. Uh, eventually, Tipperin kind of comes out, and Manu's already on the other side of the courtyard, just kind of sitting. I assess the situation and see what's going on. And Okay, go ahead and roll, roll a perception check. I will do the same. Where's my perception? Uh, 17 for me. 25 for me. Okay. Both of you can very clearly see everything's kind of fucked. You do see these massive kind of archaic gates that are opening. And both of you can roll uh, ooh, roll history checks to see if you know what salamanders are. Oh, girl. Are they in the courtyard? Like, is it the same cocked. place the door's at right now? That one's cocked. Stop. Stop. No, they're in the courtyard of the temple. Correct. No, we uh, would have agreed that it would have been the bushes in front of the, like, where we were staying, I believe. The stronghold? Yeah, so the stronghold. So, yeah, they're they're by the stronghold, so not the courtyard. Okay. 
Yeah, they're courtyard, not think super of courtyard close. is town square. Uh, my history check is a seven. <laughs> Mine is a seventeen. Okay. Oh, Ooh. eighteen minus one. <laughs> so, Alder, you're kind of like, why does that giant fire snake have arms? Uh, and Thok, you, you're kind of familiar with things. You know that that is uh, something from the fire plane. Uh, you are not entirely sure of its name, but you know that it is incredibly aggressive and that it tends to slither on its tummy due to not having legs. It's fire. Kill it. But oh. not with fire. <laughs> not with Sold, fire. I guess. Okay. Um, I, seeing the hell that's breaking loose, I'm going to say, fuck it. I'm going to give it a shot and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to pray to Pelor and attempt because it's been seven days now that it's the next day uh, I'm going to try to divine intervention and pray that he gets all the citizens and civilians safely out of the city okay and go ahead and roll for it let's see if come on happens. baby fucking go, clerics go, man go blessed be the father word to the king <laughs> oh god no 88 Oh. You kind of like center. It's a busy and signal. <clears throat> you just like Beep. you just hear uh, Wizard Steve. Hi, you've got your lines crossed, my guy. Oh, son of a bitch. Do you want me to make everyone pizza? Uh, and then you're like, don't, don't eat the pizza. Um, <laughs> that went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well that just completely uh, like is a representation of how tonight has been going. It's a microcosm of the night for sure. <clears throat> yep. All right. So apparently Streamlabs is having issues across the board, which is why we keep dropping every 20 minutes or so. So we apologize. Um, hopefully I'll be able to edit this together. I'm not sure what the VODs look like, but I'll edit them together, put it on YouTube, and uh, we can hopefully have some complete piece of content for you guys. Um, yeah, sorry this keeps happening, guys. Thank you for sticking with us. Um, we're gonna keep playing for a little bit, and but we're gonna call tonight a little short. Um, but you can expect us next stream next week to um, hopefully be in a little bit of a better spot. Yep, all things green. We'll have a new computer. Streamlabs will fix their stuff, and you'll be able to see our uh, our pretty pretty faces. So let's uh, groove into character. Back to Thor. Back to Thor. Okay. So, everyone is essentially, from what we discussed off stream, beelining it. We're all trying to beeline to the uh, salamander. Um, I'm not I, beelining. I am in front of the salamander. You're not beelining. I do. So, I will say, with the distance, both of you guys are, all three of you are going. Uh, Loki, you will be there in one round, and Alder and Thaki will be there in two. Okay, if I were to cast Expeditious Retreat, which allows me to use Dash as a bonus action, mm -hmm. could I get there even faster? I'm going to say for brevity, no. Okay, then I will not cast it. Save for spell slots, Bob. So, with that, we will go to top of the round. So, Thor, you are up. Cool. Um, I am going to... Uh try and do another slam with Mjolnir again. Try and do like an arc where I come up, slam down. Okay. Um, that's another deck save from him. He needs to beat 18. He got a natural 18. Oh, uh, that's a that's a bummer. So he's going to just it? take half damage. Um, that is the wrong dice. It's 48. So that's not... Oh, wait, I can reroll that. Okay, that's an 8. I can reroll that. That's a 7. That's 15. That plus 6 is 21. Plus 5 is 26. So he takes 13 points of uh, thunder damage. Okay. And he's not prone, but I'm going to take another swing with Mjolnir as I land on the ground near him. Right. Uh, that is a natural 18 for a 28. That will hit uh, really quick before you start doing that. Uh, just know you take uh, four points of fire damage with the first uh, melee attack. Cool, 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 cool. 
Um, that is a 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 2 lightning is 17 <clears throat> total. So that's tw- 30 points of damage for this round. And Anna, you said I took four more points of fire damage. So the first one you took four, second one you're going to take seven. Uh, what is? How much did you hit on the second one, the second uh, hit? Uh, 10, 15, 17 points of damage. He does yeah. not look so hot. He's going to go for desperation. Um. Okay, so let's do the first spear attack. Cool. Uh, does an 18 hit? It does, actually. Okay. So let's see here. That is going to be two-handed. I bet you wish you had my shield now. I don't, actually. So that is... So 13 points of piercing with four fire. 17 total. 17 total. And then the second attack with the tail is going. Okay. Sorry, Pat. It's cool. I'm fine. It's been Probably. I've done a, a crit. Um, I wasn't prepared. Oh, my. It's cool. It's fine. I'm going <laughs> to probably live through this, maybe. He's a god. He's fine. Not yet. It's been a while. So we're going to do the bludgeoning damage first. Cool. You're going to take 19 points of bludgeoning. Okay. And then you're going to take 13 points of fire. I am still up, my guy. Just a little crispy. Oh, there, there is some crispness to me currently. Speaking of crisp, Loki, show me on the map where you would like to land use your little pointer um well i would envision that i'm coming in from the south but i would not like to land i would like to continue flying okay is that me you should be able to move ned cool oh ned my guy okay so am i coming in from right here yeah coming in hot baby coming in hot all right so then what i'll do is did you roll initiative you probably need to do oh that. i do need to do that uh i'm gonna have you go third in initiative order okay as they've already had their round okay so so i will fly in and then i get 50 no 80 you said 80 yep. yeah 80. 80 80 okay so i'd like to use 40 which is approximately here i think right Actually, no, let me do the full 80 so I can be behind uh, Thor. Does that give us advantage? Um, Only because he's a little bit larger, I don't think you would get advantage. Then, uh, as opposed to if you two were on even levels. Um, Honestly, I'm just gonna... the thing I need to do, doesn't it doesn't matter. So okay. I was just getting ahead of myself. All right, what do you need to do? Um, I will cast uh, Snilox Snowball Swarm okay. at third level. Uh, as I'm flying over, let me see what I need for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I reach into my compo- my pouch and I grab a small white rock chip, and I I kind of toss it down at the air and do a little, you know, pressure hand motion to create a snowball storm at the center of the um, salamander. My goal is to make it look like it's coming from the illusion salamander who's been coming with me. Okay. So it looks like uh, I'll make the the salamander kind of roar and out of his mouth comes this, or whatever they would normally do, a large block of ice comes to the center of him. Okay. So... uh... Frost salamanders speak primordial, so it's just screaming at it in primordial as uh, the snowball, uh, the snowstorm or snowball storm. What does it do exactly? It is um, each creature within a five foot radius of the sphere must make a dexterity saving throw, three d six cold damage. Okay, so he's going to need to make a dex save. Yeah. 
He got a natural 19. Oof. Okay, so he'll get half. Okay. So that's 4, 3, 5, that's 12, 16. So he takes 8 points of cold damage. Okay. Uh, now with vulnerabilities with cold damage, you actually did 16 points of damage. Nice. Because it doubles up because he's vulnerable. As you kind of careen down with all these snowballs, you see ch -ch -ch, the salamander slowly start to crumble and... Uh, uh, he is careened with snowballs and he is in a snowy tomb as you have killed my salamander, my poor salam, my Sally. <laughs> Sorry, um, Sally. As he kind of parts. Let me just go here. Boop. It is currently the two of you. I'm going to, let's see here. I've been utilizing D and D, not D and D beyond roll twenties hide feature. So, Loki, you are there, and very shortly, Alder Thok, you two are able to make it up the, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong, <laughs> wrong layer. You guys are eventually able to kind of reconvene, and you see this massive gate, and as the kind of like, in the remains of this ice snake bone charred thing, As the four of you have reunited. Uh, Thor is going to fall to a knee and just kind of uh, breathe heavily because he's hurt pretty pretty badly. Uh, Loki's going to walk up and uh, can't, like put his hand on his shoulder and pump 15 uh, lay on hands into him. Okay. Are you okay, brother? been better uh not my finest uh battle but i'm alive i guess and then i'm gonna put uh healing hands on myself as well and do an another 13 points uh which gets me almost half <laughs> okay gonna... once we arrive and i'm winded i'm like <sighs> i'm just gonna pat him in the back and i'm like shake it off we can't do we can't stop and uh, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at level 2. Okay. On him. Well, you two took your sweet time. Yeah, there was a big giant uh, salamander that was here. So I hope you guys had, like, tea and cookies and a nice breakfast and, and stuff. It has literally been five minutes and we were all the way across the realm. <laughs> Right. And it was five minutes and we killed a salamander, but it's I'm fine. very proud of you for doing that. I it sorry looks... that we couldn't move any faster. Yeah, it looks but like we got that. more shit to get to. It looks Dude, like that. we also you guys we, we got we gotta get through this and then we gotta talk because what the fuck is going on? So <laughs> as you guys are kind of like reconvening, catching up, the gate opens and activates again. As you uh, see, fuck, how many points of healing did that that cure? Twenty-seven. Holy shit! I'm a life cleric. So, <laughs> as the another salamander comes out, there is something that comes with him. Big and monstrous, but not a giant, nay, an elemental. And we will end it there. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Tiburon's with us, right? Uh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. He fuck. is right cool, there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, no, the hell he like, is. What the fuck? I thought you said, yeah, he is. He's there. Move his ass back towards me. <laughs> that okay, shit. well, we'll end it there. We can figure it out in a week. <laughs> Guys, this is uh, a shorter stream for us than normal, but we're we're really hoping that all of these bugs get worked out um, by the time we're back for next week. We're really sorry we're cutting it short. Uh, we were all truthfully very, very excited to play tonight. So uh, it's a bummer for us as much as it is for you. But know that we will be back next week ready for our two and a half hour long trek. Uh, we'll be busy in our players chat trying to figure out what the hell we're going to do. 
Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Ding. We will be back next week. Have a good week, everybody. Don't forget to wear your fucking mask and get a shot. Or two. You know what? Go for three. Super. Get, the get all of them. If you get all five, you become... Those vaccines are for the children's hospital. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good... Oh, wait. Thanks, guys. Names in the chat. Oh, wait, Josh, do you want to read? Sorry, oh it's been a while. It's I been know. a while. Okay, yes. So, a, a extra big thank you for everyone who's stuck through this stream because it has been... It has been a state. So, thank you, Gandalf the Vabe, Atten, Commander Root, Paulina93, Run DC, Storm Unity, uh, and thank you, Foxbox Union, for following us yesterday. We love you all. Nice. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next week. So long. Bye. Farewell.